Hello and welcome to Murder in the UK. Today we're looking at the case of Wayne Cousins, best known as the murderer of Sarah Everard. Cousins grew up in Dover, the eldest of two boys. He was a mechanic at the family garage until it closed down in 2015. In 2002, Cousins was a member of the Army Reserves, serving for two years. By 2006, Cousins had moved to the seaside town of Deal in Kent, where he lived with his new wife, Ukrainian-born Elena, who was 38 and a laboratory manager. They went on to have two children together. At this time, Cousins was also volunteering as a special police constable. By 2008, Cousins had joined Kent Police as a traffic officer. In 2015, Cousins was accused of indecent exposure, but no investigation was carried out and no charges were brought against him. In September 2018, he transferred to the Metropolitan Police Force and was initially based in the Bromley area of South London. By February 2020, he'd moved to the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command, where his primary role was uniform patrols, mainly at the range of embassies in the capital. He was also a licensed firearms officer. Sunday the 28th of February 2021. Cousins again accused of indecent exposure, this time to a female member of staff at a local McDonald's in South London. The whole incident was caught on CCTV, but no investigation and no charges were brought. That same day, Cousins booked a hire car to collect on the afternoon of 3rd of March using his own bank card. He also that day bought a roll of self-adhesive film. Wednesday the 3rd of March 2021. PC Cousins finished a 12-hour shift and was now due a few days off. He then went to pick up the hire card that he had ordered turned out to be a white Vauxhall Astra. That evening, CCTV caught him on camera in the streets of South London, cruising. 33-year-old marketing executive Sarah Everard had been at a friend's house for the evening and she was walking home from Clapham to her house in Brixton when PC Cousins, using the hire car that he had picked up earlier in that day, abducted her and drove her 75 miles to Kent. It was confirmed during the investigation that they did not know each other before this fateful night. During the investigation, police looked at CCTV in the area. Sarah was caught alone on CCTV at 9.15, seen again on a camera at 9.28, and later caught on the camera of a marked police car at 9.32. At around 9.35, a bus camera captured two figures on Poinders Road and a white Vauxhall Astra with its hazard lights flashing and both doors of the car open. The registration of the vehicle, later confirmed to be a car hired in Dover, was captured and tracked by police as it left London and headed towards Kent. The next day, the 4th of March 2021, Josh Louth, Sarah's boyfriend, reported her missing. Police launched an urgent inquiry, posters were put up in the area and a national manhunt began looking for Sarah Everard. 5th of March 2021. PC Cousins calls into work saying he needs time off due to stress. The next day Cousins sends an email to, to his supervisor saying he no longer wishes to be a firearms officer. The 9th of March 2021, at his home in Deal, Kent, PC Cousins unexpectedly wiped his phone clean just moments before police arrived to question him over the disappearance of Sarah Everard. He was taken into custody. During the following questioning, he was twice rushed to hospital after suffering head injuries in his cell at Wandsworth Police Station. There was no suggestions of anyone else being involved. 
He was originally just questioned about the kidnapping of Sarah Everard. 10th of March 2021. Sarah Everard's body was found in a woodland stream in Ashford, Kent. Just metres from land owned by PC Cousins and his wife that they'd purchased back in 2019. Miss Everard's body was found inside a large builder's bag and was only identified using dental records. 12th of March 2021, PC Wayne Cousins is charged with the abduction, rape and murder of Sarah Everard on the 3rd of March 2021. Saturday the 13th of March, Cousins appears at Westminster Magistrates Court to face the charges. He, he appeared in court before Chief Magistrate Paul Goldspring, who remanded him into custody to appear again at the Old Bailey in London. Later that week, a post-mortem was inconclusive. No cause of death could be established. Later that following week, Sarah's family attended the inquest into her death at the County Hall in Maidstone, Kent. However, proceedings were adjourned pending the outcome of the criminal investigation currently ongoing into her death. The coroner reported that the first post-mortem had been inconclusive and a second one would be conducted. Later that week at William Harvey Hospital in Ashford, the second post-mortem found that Sarah had died as a result of compression to the neck, strangulation. The 8th of June 2021, at a court hearing, Cousins pleads guilty to the abduction and rape of Sarah Everard. He accepts responsibility for her death, but did not enter a plea in relation to the murder charge. Thursday the 8th of July 2021, at the Old Bailey in London, in front of Judge Lord Justice Fullard, Wayne Cousins pleaded guilty to the abduction and rape of Sarah Everard in March. He appeared by video link from Bell Marsh High Security Jail. He gave no reason for the incident. The following day, Friday the 9th of July, again appearing by video link from HMP Bell Marsh, Cousin pleaded guilty, this time to murder. The judge ordered that sentencing be delayed to allow for reports. During the trial, it was revealed that PC Wayne Cousins initially denied the murder of Sarah Everard. When he was first interviewed by police, Cousins claimed he'd kidnapped Miss Everard for an Eastern European gang outside of London after they had threatened to harm his family. Cousins claims he was unable to pay for a sex worker and so was ordered to find another girl, otherwise his family would be harmed. He later retracted this story. The Independent Office for Police Conduct announced that 12 officers have been served gross misconduct or misconduct notices in matters relating to this case. Sentencing will take place on the 29th of September 2021. Thank you for listening. To find out more and to find out the result of the sentencing, visit www.murderuk.com. Thank you.